Well, welcome back again to ABC 25 Local Lifestyles. The Evansville Philharmonic is ready to fill the air with more fantastic music with their performance, Classics Finale. And conductor Roger Kalia is here with us this morning to talk about this big, big concert, Roger, coming up this weekend. Hey, Stacey, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we are excited because uh, this is coming up this Sunday, right? That's right. We're, so we're closing out our classic series with uh, a concert this Sunday at 4 p.m. It's at the Victory Theater, but it's going to be both available. Tickets are avail available online and also in person. So we're looking forward to having an audience back in the Victory Theater. And it really is a fantastic program. Uh, it features music from around the world. I mean, we are also going to be featuring one of Mozart's most famous symphony, the Jupiter Symphony, which is his final symphony, symphony number 41. And again, this, this concert is all about variety. I mean, we have music from India. We're going to be featuring a piece by an uh, Indian American composer named Rina Esmail. And it's a piece called Teen Morty for String Orchestra. It's a beautiful piece that combines Indian music and classical music. We're also featuring soprano Virginia Mims, who's finishing her master's at Indiana University. She's a rising star. She's going to be singing a Brazilian work by the composer Bia Lobos called the Bacchianas Brasiliaris No. 5. Uh, the first movement of that piece she is singing, and it's the most famous work by Via Lobos. Wonderful work. And then finally, we're going to feature the brass musicians of the Evansville Philharmonic. We are going to be performing a work from Argentina by Astor Piazzolla, the uh, Suite de Maria de Buenos Aires. So it's a wonderful piece that really highlights Nuevo Tango, which means new tango. So there's a lot of grooves and different rhythms in the music. Oh my goodness, that is like going to be a jammed pack concert, it sounds like. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be amazing. And like you said, you can do it two different ways, which is awesome. We're kind of trying to work our way uh, back to more of a normal, but you're still giving people the two options. So what are the two options and how can they get tickets for both? Yeah, absolutely. So the two options are, again, uh, tickets are available in person and you can also buy tickets through the lives for live streaming. So. I would go online to our website, www.evansvillephilharmonic.org, or you can call the ticket office, which is 812-425-5050, and the ticket office is open 10 a.m. through 4.30, Monday through Friday. I also want to mention that if you're interested, we will be hosting a pre-concert event in the Victory from 3.15 to 3.40. I, this is a Sunday afternoon concert now, not a Saturday evening concert. Mm -hmm. But this pre-concert entertainment will feature Indian classical musicians from the region performing on stage at the Victory. It should be a really fun event. And then finally, after the concert, if there already isn't enough on this concert, exactly. we're doing a virtual wrap-up live from Brew Burger. This is going to be a live stream event. You just, you'll just you be uh, sent a Zoom link and you can join me and ask questions about the concert. Uh, it's, again, a virtual wrap-up Zoom experience. Oh my goodness, so many things and it's so exciting. And thank you for sharing all the information with us uh, here this morning. And good luck this weekend. Uh, thanks, Stacey. Thanks yes. for having me. We love having you, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you, Roger. And we'll be right back after this with more Local Lifestyles.